All right, let me put this away. Good morning. That is my moon squeeze. I wanted to talk about my cousin and my weeks. So I'm really loving my cousin to be something of a maybe a self-care-ish thing for my wellness overall. It says... It's only after you stepped outside of your comfort zone that you begin to change, grow, and transform. And that is so true for the journey that I am on. Um, for so many years, I have wanted happiness in many areas of my life, but didn't understand that I was responsible for my own happiness and not others. You know what I mean? Like my husband, my kids, like they're not responsible for keeping me happy. You know what I mean? So be proud of how, how you've handled these past few months, the silent battles you fought, the moments you have to humble yourself, wipe your own tears and pat yourself on the back. Celebrate your strength. You are loved. It's okay to not be okay. Um, fall in love with your life. Live in the present moment. I need a vellum right here, like a really loose color vellum so that way I can put any kind of um like um post-its down and then this once like the summer months stop and all that i can remove this because it's paper and like put it somewhere else maybe for the summer month and then i have can go into like more of a fall thing um i also did this here and then again for this i can move this to a different decor but it says god i need your peace today what i'm facing i cannot go through alone i need you to change the way i think by reminding me that you are with me you have never failed me and you're not gonna start now so right now please fill me with your peace no matter what's going on around me i will not be troubled or afraid in jesus name so over here i've got like this little motivational thing it says i'm still the same same girl with the same name just a different mindset and a new game i stopped waiting for the light at the end of the tunnel and i lit that bitch up for myself life is short lick the ball monique <laughs> yesterday when i was finding little um like quotes my husband's like lick the ball <laughs> i was like yes i'm licking the ball and so um love your life i am reading this book by mj ryan and it's called the happiness makeover and well, I'm listening to, to it on Audible and man, there is something that I wrote um, here. It said, uh, wait, is it on my journal? I think it is. It says, real. I, I put here, realize, reading, listening to this book has made me realize that I've looked to my hubs for my happiness. My unhappiness was eat, was and eats at me and my marriage. Um, realizing I'm responsible for it has been freeing. Find and use your talents for some true happiness, she was saying. Are you doing the thing that's most valuable to you? The more you cultivate your true powers, the more you will feel your life is worth living. Not like some, I didn't see that as like, oh yeah, you're your own person. Like I'm always having a spiritual twist to it because I'm obviously of the Lord. Um, but it's just like the talents that I have, like when you're, when you're doing something for yourself and you're engulfed in something for yourself, you're not focused on other people's achievements. And I know that my husband is very ambitious and I would side eye him like, why do you have so many goals? How come I don't have any? Like, you're just doing this and I'm doing nothing all day with these kids, like that kind of an attitude. So this year I want to use for gratitude. I'm going to start it on July um, 1st. I'm going to put a word of the month. And then um, use the little lines for just gratitude. It could be really something simple. And I write big. So if the daily don't work, maybe I'll have something to focus on um, for that. And then some kind of affirmation. And then I want to do a word of the day. And I want to do, I might fill this up to look at for reference. Um, but I did change out the things here because it went into like, to 2025 and I don't need it to be 2025 because this is not going to record 2025 information and then um I'm going into like highlight of the day um for my monthlies so I did decorate them some 
but that's about it. Now my weeklies, I want to use more of reflection and like, um, to kind of like do the weekly all at once in one swoop and then refer back to it. So at first I said I got a cousin from Ash. I'm not sure exactly what to use it for, but I'm excited to try and figure it out for the rest of the year. So down here, these are these are the Aura Estelle um, little weeklies that I pasted in on gel, January 2025 monthly. So then I can start June, um, earlier. So right here... I kind of put like little like things I know I need to do for my vitamins, just extra stuff. Pray, affirm, reflect, reset. Father, sustain me. Keep up your goals, your audio books, like stuff like this. And so like when I'm having a rut or when I'm stuck, I can come over here and be like, okay, do it for your kids so they can see your mom, their mom overcome and succeed. Give them something to brag out about. Sit with women committed to personal growth. The conversation will be different. I will not give into sadness. My thoughts will not control me. I will stay positive and allow happiness in. Post your selfies for you, doll up for you, eat good for you, get in shape for you, be happy for you. And this is not some kind of like thing to look at like, oh my gosh, you're just never going to have bad days. Like I know I'm going to have bad days, but it's the fact that I can transition faster. I can rely on the Lord sooner. I can have resources to help me that when I get stuck, because I do try some of these things here when I am stuck. Yesterday I was feeling anxious and stressed and I had intrusive thoughts and doubt um, because I'm committed to like this, oh shoot, this new journey for myself. And I started feeling like, um, are you being fake? Are you just like trying to ride some determination wheel or are you truly giving this to the Lord? Are you letting the loud, the, you know, the Lord use you in this whole situation or like, like, I don't know how to explain it other than I started feeling like that. So I had to start purposely searching for, okay, I have things on my phone and a note on my phone when it was June 10th and that's when the Lord spoke to me specifically and I have notes of all that and things of all that so that kind of helps me so the next page I, I just got into this thing last night where I couldn't stop <laughs> so I printed out all these cute little things to help me and then through next week I will do some more of like encouragement and positivity for me so an affirmation a queen doesn't hope or wish she decides ability motivation losing weight is a mental challenge not a physical one if you can take control of your mind and body the weight loss will follow see a lot of things that i was thinking for is like i'm autistic i have adhd i have ocd i have these things there's no way i'm going to be able to control my mind my body my spirit there's no way just my outlook on so many things for so for about the last two years has been so horrid that I can't seem to like see or think clearly. And so now I feel like I have such clarity and it's crazy. Um, I'm not gonna sit here and stop and say like, oh my gosh, that that's just, it, it's 100% the Lord, the resources that he's given me, the power and might he's given me. And then I really do believe it was a combination of my medication being correct as well. And because I do have ADHD, I really do feel that the medication has helped me like, um, like, like quiet down the room. The people are still there. <laughs> Homies are still there. But they're not as loud and I feel like I have some breathing space to where I can start to think and feel um, a little bit more uh, open and not so much chaos with so many tabs open because um, a part of my ADHD is the hyper component and um, I mean obviously it's more to just attention deficit disorder there's paralysis there's motivation there's self-talk there's there's just so much stuff to ADHD that you know social media or other people do not talk about um, most times you see it highlighted like oh my god squirrel I can't focus like that's like really dumb to say I'm sorry because for people that are majorly struggling with it that is not all that happens there um, there's so much more to it. So 
I think that that has helped me. So provide, giving myself some resources for what I'm going through in this journey and what I'm trying to achieve here and working with the, with the Holy Spirit is really um, going to cultivate a lot for me. So here is the following week. I am excited for like all these little cute pop-ups, but I am going to probably use it in a different form. I may go ahead and just kind of um, do the week like I used to do like that, or I may go down here, or I mean, I'm just not sure just yet, but I really liked, you know, like a note to self. I am these things. I really loved this and then having the weekend. And then even the following week, I've got this, even though it's full of like an Easter, I wanted to use it more so for like, um, I wanted to use like this and this, this one, these here. Obviously I wouldn't use the eggs and stuff, but uh, yeah, I'm really, really excited. And then um, the dailies would be more of a creative journal outlet uh, where I could put like pictures down, I could put stickers down, I could put quotes down. I'm not gonna really use this as a today and a to-do list. That is not what I wanna use this for. I also have a cover coming. Um, it's an A5 ring binder that I'm going to de-ring and then put this in there. I'm really loving this. It's just right when I open it, I'm able to see some encouragement and motivation. So love. My weeks is just that. I'm just like really working my way through this. Um, I really am enjoying the portability of it. Let me go ahead and what? Today is like... I worked out already. And I'm going to get some more coffee. I love this. This is never jealous, never intimidated, never in competition. I have my own blessings. Like, I'm just that type of person. So this is exercise tracker. And these are just post-it land. I'm still working my way. This one is good. I'm just doing my wish list and my personal wish list, which this comes up. I want an A5 Julio and died. So I am working my way through these pages. Like I want this for a specific purpose and I'm not going to do anything until that like comes to me. I've got my marriage page and just reminding me of my husband. This is a, you know, date nights. He's your true best friend. Just, you know, um, make sure you remember to date your husband, kiss, touch, caress, like get back into that kind of stuff. Um, I also have this for, um, I'm gonna put a sticker down though. <laughs> this says get well soon. I don't like that get well, but I love this butterfly. So I have this as a brain dump trigger list. So if I need anything there that could help trigger something, I was using the these ones as a highlight of the day, but I don't think I'm going to do that anymore because I'm going to do that in my, um, in my, I can't speak, in my cousin. So for this month, I'm gonna call it a wash and probably just like put down cute things or flowers or whatever, or just write something down in these little spots. And then next month, I probably will use it as an event calendar for just the kids. Um, and you know, preparation until Isaac goes back to school. I have decided that I'm not going to use this space because this is a mega weeks and we're here, which I didn't do on purpose. And um, I think, because I have all of these pages here, I want to use them at, as like just, I don't know, I don't want to paste things down because I don't want this to get too much, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and um, put like some washi down like so to kind of cover up and I do have a lot of motivating things so I can definitely like um, use this area for like prayers because I do have prayers or something faith related um, you know notes from the books that I'm reading uh, I can like put stuff down, but I don't, I don't want to use it as like two different weekly spreads. Like I want this to be memory keeping if I want to, it just like 
how I'm used to doing it, like this. But I want it to be over here on the correct date. So hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't, it does to me. So, you know, like for instance, having a page on, let's use, I don't know, let's just use some weird color. So happiness, right? For years, I don't know about you, but happiness was like a trigger word for me. And it still sometimes gives me that, uh, because it's kind of like, you know, I was taught wrong when it came to happiness. I always thought like that was just such a dumb word. I would always be like, nobody, what? I'm never gonna be happy because I've never felt happy. So in my thing, it's like, happiness does exist, Monique. It's just trying to cultivate that with the Lord and seeing what that does mean for you and, and not like make it mean something weird. The byproduct product of happiness is joy when you're truly, you know, full and being a kind human. Because <laughs> I have a short, <sighs> I get frustrated really quickly. And so, you know, I thought I can do topical things too. To just kind of, sometimes throughout the day, I'm like, things are coming at me really quickly. And I could like really use that to just, um you know, also use my, 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 what are these called? Fountain pens. I don't know if I've really used like this one in my weeks before. This is my stub. And I don't know what color I actually have in here. Oh, I've got this like brown color. Oh, wow. So like for instance, you are responsible for your own joy in your life what does that even look like you know like questions like what happens What, wait, oh gosh, I put, what happiness. <laughs> Crap, I meant to say what happens. What happens if things don't go your way? Are you or can you practice flexibility? And, and you know, it's so crazy because flexibility is something really, really hard for me. I have, when things are not the same, I get pretty rigid and I'm like, what is happening? Like. Why is the change coming? The uncomfortable is just so, the unknown is so unbearable. So within reason, I want to try to remember these things. Like, you know, for a while there, I was just succumbing to, well, you know, life is never going to be different for me because I am just this, I am just that. But I have, you know, realized like how is your self-talk because your self-talk is creating a narrative and this narrative that you are believing, you know, will shape some type of perspective and then it will just trickle down to so many other things and, you know, checking my self-talk, like it's a new area for me. Like I can, can honestly, you know, get vulnerable with myself and be okay with myself with, you know, shame or whatever. And just being like, I honestly wasn't doing it because I was afraid to step out or, you know, just kind of reevaluating my life and looking at my decisions at 42 years old and my mind. And, you know, I'm so motivated with trying to be a better person for me, my home, my, my family, my children, and just being a, just loving myself back to life 
through the works of the Holy Spirit, not knowing that it, everything is not going to be just kind of like honky dory all the time. Um, is there room or any capacity? for compassion for you because sometimes what happens is I get stuck on I need a dark room I need these dogs and this cat to leave me the F alone I need these kids to shut the hell up they're so damn loud and I need my husband to just make everything perfect for me and for me it was like do you have the right formula and if I don't have the right formula, I'm going to, I'm going to kick and scream because I'm like, shit, surely somebody needs to, to fix this. I would, I remember always telling my husband, just fix this. Why can't you just fix this? Why can't you, you just make it better? <laughs> Poor guy would stare at me like, um, honey. And so I would have a lot of episodes. I would have a lot of spirals. I would have a lot of things. And then when, when the homies told me, oh, you're autistic, you have this, you have that. Oh man, that was April of last year. It caused some kind of shit in me like, oh wow, you are doomed. And I would always be like, a diagnosis for your kids is not doomed behavior. Like you would, you would, I mean, what have you told them? But for me, in some way, shape or form, I thought, oh man, I messed that up. Oh well. I thought, I'm doomed. Surely I am, surely, just surely I am doomed. Oh, well, that looks funny, but who cares? Um, I'm doomed because I'm not going to be able to do this, do that, do this, do that. And I was almost falling into this weird stigma of uh, what I would see. Like, well, they they say with autism, da 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 da, da Or they say, that, and I'm like, Monique, are you kidding me right now? Are you not? Like, you know better than anybody to start placing parameters and being really just, whoa, you know? But for me, it was just truly, oh, let's see if I have a sticker. For me, it was just being truly like, no, you're all fucked up now. Now you're never gonna have true peace you're never gonna have nothing surely because now now they're saying you're freaking autistic can you believe that and it, and it you guys i promise you it was it was and you know still sometimes my mind plays tricks on me but one big thing that i feel the holy spirit has taught me or is teaching me is that you know baby girl i got you like I got you. It's 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 gonna be okay. And I look up like, are you sure, God? <laughs> um, do you need my help? Because um, surely you're not doing things fast enough, and surely you're not the God of the universe. Because if you were the God of the universe, you would make this go. Your child, who loves you so much, you would make this go away like quick, like. It's so funny how it's like sitting in uncomfortable crap is not something anybody wants to do, right? But, you know, I, I just didn't, I was like, no way. So let's see, we can do one on, oops. Let's just white some of this out. You know, we don't really need that. And the beauty of this is just, it's just blank paper, honestly. Like you saw what I just did. I could just cover this up however I see fit. Let's just cover up some more just to give some ideas, right? So like these big old long little leaves are super cute to cover up, right? Let's use some of them. Kind of cover up on this side and then let's grab some of this and it's like okay you are amazing you know and for me if I have pages that are already like um prepped I could feel like I can um let's see something else I could feel like super 
motivated to use them if that makes sense is that going to be too big it probably will be but who cares i'm just loving this green right now and then it's allowing me to get rid of all these darn stickers you know so if you struggle with compassion empathy kindness um for yourself you're gonna struggle with that for others you're not gonna you're not gonna be able to give something you don't have and that is one huge powerful powerful lesson that i have been embarking on it's kind of like i've known these things but i never wanted to look at them in the face because i was like oh they're just so daunting <laughs> so look at that is cute like to just put some information down you know what i mean like what if you have something right there so it's not gonna be and just go through your sticker books see what you've got see what you you want to use you know what i mean like all of these roses right here okay wait a minute i like them and what if we just like do the whole page like a border and then like in the middle we've got all these pretty like flowers you know what i mean so i would like to encourage you that if you're struggling you're not alone man you're you know you've you've saw it first with me here on my channel how bad i've had my mental health for the quite some time um there's many times that i came on here and i shared that you know i'm going through some shit now and i'm going through some shit and um intrusive thoughts are real you're not like crazy and the things that you go through are in fact real and it's just waking up and trying to figure out like okay do i want to attack these things because that takes courage to be honest and you may not be there yet and that and the beauty is is that's okay you do not have to be at some place yet you do not have to to arrive yet you do not have to like try to push yourself to get to a place of this this that and the other you really need to humble yourself and work with the lord first and foremost and he will light your path because friends i promise you you try and do it on your own you're gonna end up pissed the hell off and you're gonna wonder like this is some straight bullshit I lived in that for a really, 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 everything will be okay. That's cute. A long time. And I was always so stuck. Like, and I'm not trying to say like, oh yeah, all of a sudden I'm just. <laughs> no, no, no. Please do not take away that from this video. Um, I know I'm get well soon. What is up with the get well soon? Who the heck is bless this home and all who enter? Coffee does um i share these things to like play in my planner encourage myself and then um also i i can love your body that's so pretty how about you grow up i kind of like that and we'll put like half of the sticker um i share these things because I, I just want to encourage you that you're not alone in it and it may feel like it but there are plenty of people that go through this and they just don't share about it the thing is is that I love to share because I think I like to let people know that um it's gonna be okay somehow I can encourage by the way I can encourage the shit out of somebody but what I've noticed is that I wasn't taking that for myself not at all and just went like that i told myself i wasn't gonna bulk this up and i totally did okay so that's those pages and then obviously these pages will be used for the cool things and let's just mark juneteenth and i don't know why i felt like juneteenth was spelled differently 
and there's a lot of freaking June teeth. Um, oh man, that's that 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 doesn't look good. Oh, sir, you were being deathified over there. You're being kilted. <laughs> You're being kilted. Kilt, 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 kilt it did. Let's see if we can find something that can change this somehow. Love. Never knew what I was missing. Let's put it down here. June 18th. If you are not familiar with that is, go educate yourself. How about that? Um, and then my son has um, his counseling at 6. And then he has an interview, you guys. He has an interview today at 10 to work at a hospital with animals. Oh, my gosh. You guys pray for my baby. Um, how about this? Yes, you can, boo. Yes. Yes. Um, matter of fact, you can do this. Boom. So anyhow, that is my video. So moving forward, I will use this as an intent. And then my dailies, I don't know, I've got so many. Um, I still wanna try to do something like this. I probably wanna do some more picture journaling. Um, I always get juiced up on the mega, like June, July. Always, always. So, I thank you for watching. I thank you for being a part of my channel. I thank you for just doing great things. God bless you and have a great day.